Do you want to know the secrets to lead generation so you stop wasting time and money on your business? You're in the right place. We're going to talk all about it. My name is Alicia Crastell, and on this channel, we help agents grow their real estate business and have an amazing net life without sacrificing their priorities. If that's something you're all about, make sure you hit the subscribe and hit the little bell so you're notified every time we help you grow. Today, we're going to pull back the curtain on real estate lead gen so you really see how everything is laid out and what goes on so you know exactly where to focus your time, money, and energy. The first thing I want to go over is, are you transactional or are you relational? That is the first decision that needs to be made about your lead generation strategy. And a lot of agents come into business, even veteran agents, where they dabble here, dabble there, they're half transactional, they're half relational, and that doesn't help your business. You have to decide up front so all of your energy and resources goes into the one area. If you don't, you're going to be pulled in different directions and all of that money and all the time spent that's going to be working against each other. You'll have some success, but it's not going to flow like you want to. Let me know if you know already if you're transactional or if you're relationship based. Make sure you comment below. This is something I want to show you guys because the majority of real estate agents have a funnel where it's big at the top and it goes down where they put all kinds of people, quantity of people and leads and they try to turn out a couple quality leads. This is your traditional funnel. It's working downward. It's pulling people downward and hoping to produce a couple quality leads. I've been licensed for 14 years. So over some time, I have learned that what works best for me and works for a lot of agents who want a relationship-based business is to flip that funnel upside down where you're working as like a megaphone or I'll show you like a pinwheel where you're focused on a small amount of people and each of those people know 10 minimum, 100 people more likely, and it goes outward. So your energy and your time and money go into those people and they become your advocates and your business grows outward instead of squeezing inward. You'll see here, instead of pumping in a bunch of people, the little tiny triangle at the bottom is your A's or your MVPs. Those are the people who support your business, who are always referring you, who you know you can count on and have your back. Those are the people you want to make sure your energy is focused on because they are most likely the people who don't raise their hand and ask for any of your energy or help. And they're your biggest advocate. Most agents do is they forget about those people or they lightly appreciate them. I go in all in on appreciating those people and supporting what they do because I know they lead to greater things. If you want a really good example of this and know that it's not just me or a few agents that do this, the book Super Fans by Pat Flynn talks all about how he grew his business and he has multiple sources of income. He's a podcaster, a book writer on YouTube, but he's grown his business from a few to many. So to really wrap your head around this, I wanna show you how you take that triangle and as it goes outward, when you put them together and you focus your energy on it, it becomes, what does this look like? A windmill, right? Or a pinwheel, whichever one, way you wanna look at it. So if it's a pinwheel and those A's interconnect, they connect together to make it, the more energy you spend in that area of your sphere, the more the windmill or the pinwheel is gonna blow around. And when that pinwheel blows around, I don't know if you've ever walked past one, you can feel it, wind comes off of that. So the energy that you spend on them doesn't mean you won't get other opportunities, won't mean that you won't help people that you don't know, It's but it's the focused energy on getting that to move around that lets those people feel the energy and the wind. When you do the opposite, when you start focusing your energy here and there and over to the side and over here, what happens is that pinwheel might move a teeny tiny bit, but it doesn't get cranking the way it does when you have this engine working for you in referral business. So for your lead generation buckets, you'll have two to three buckets that really pull the chain on your business. And let's just say you have Sphere as getting you a certain amount of transactions, your YouTube as another transaction source, and then also you have social media. So you would think YouTube wouldn't be relational, but it is 
because the videos that I make here, the people who are really connected and feel like they're in relationship, they reach out and talk, and then I pull them into our sphere and get to know them, and then they become advocates. Just like your social media, people, you're making the content and you're doing things for your A's for and for your B's, for the people who are the meat of your business, yet the things that you post, you might post specifically for one person or one group, other people are going to see that, and that's how you draw in and attract. Same thing for YouTube, same thing for Sphere. The more energy you put in, you will have this ripple effect and this wind effect around and grab other people's attention. When you stop blowing on that pinwheel, it stops going around and around and around. You have to do it consistently, and that's how you have to think about your Sphere and working your lead generation or relationship building is what I really like to call it because you don't stop. You consistently just blow the pinwheel around gently. And when you do it like that, it feels like it's no big deal. Just like with your sphere, it's gonna be no big deal the activities that you put in because they're consistent. They're a couple of activities every day that you do to help that keep going. What are the activities? The easiest way to look at it is anything that gets you into conversation with someone with another human, and it does not have to be real estate related. I know people like to say that, but it doesn't have to be. We are in 2021. People will figure out what you do. You don't want to hide it, but you just want to have a conversation to connect with another human. That's it. Any client events, any social media posts, any YouTube videos, everything that we do is to just get in conversation with people and see how we can help them. That is the key to lead generation and getting that pinwheel moving and knowing what your activities are. Let me know if you think that you can handle one conversation a day consistently every day. I know it sounds too simple, but that's really what it boils down to. If you are way off goal and you are just starting, bump it up to two conversations. But if you have two conversations every day, that's over 700 conversations a year. There is no way that you cannot get real estate business if you have 700 conversations in a year. The reason you want conversations is because every real estate expert anywhere will tell you conversations lead to leads, lead to clients. Your conversations get you clients. It's as simple as that. If you want a detailed information on lead generation strategies, make sure you check out my other videos and I will see you next week. Also, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell.